The Mir V-12, a massive heavy-lift helicopter designed built by the Soviet Union during the Cold War, remains the largest helicopter ever constructed. The Mir V-12 project was driven by the intense rivalry between the Soviet Union and the United States, with both nations striving to develop the most powerful military vehicles. The primary purpose of the Mir V-12 was to transport soldiers, equipment, and supplies, including intercontinental ballistic missiles. The development of the Mir V-12 began in 1959, when the Soviet Union sought a heavy-lift helicopter capable of transporting up to 55,000 pounds of cargo. The task was assigned to the renowned Mir Design Bureau, which opted for a unique transverse rotor system. Unlike the Eli rotor system of the Boeing CH-47 Chinook, the V-12's main rotors were mounted outboard on wing assemblies. This design effectively cancelled the naturally occurring tall effect seen in single rotor helicopters, eliminating the need for a tail rotor. The fuselage of the V-12 was streamlined and featured a twin-deck configuration. The primary fly deck at the nose accommodated two pilots and two engineers, while a secondary deck housed a navigator and a radio man. The tubular fuselage extended from nose to tail, with a raised tail section for earlier cargo hold access via clamshell doors. The empennage included a single vertical tail fin and low-set horizontal planes with smaller vertical tail fins on each horizontal plane. The wing main planes situated near the fuselage midpoint had an upward diahedral angle and supported the engine pairings and main rotor assemblies. The helicopter's undercarriage was fixed and weared, with the main legs located under the wings and the nose leg under the forward fuselage. The V-12 was equipped with an AP-44 autopilot system, an ROZ-1 navigational radar. The cargo hold of the V-12 was comparable to that of the Antonov N-22 strategic airlifter capable of seating 196 passengers or carrying up to 88,000 pounds of cargo. The aircraft measured 37 meters in length, had a wingspan of 67 meters, and stood 12.5 meters high. Its maximum takeoff weight reached 231,485 pounds. Powering the V-12 were four Soloviev D-25 VF turboshaft engines, each producing 6,500 shaft horsepower. These engines drove the twin 35-meter diameter main rotor blades. The helicopter could achieve a maximum speed of 162 miles per hour, a cruise speed of 150 miles per hour, a ferry range of 620 miles and a combat range of 310 miles. Its surface ceiling was 11,500 feet. Initial testing of the V-12 began in June 1967, resulting in an unsuccessful hop due to oscillation issues that caused a hard landing. Despite the damage, the aircraft was not a total loss by 1968, construction was completed, allowing for further testing. The V-12 achieved its official first fly on July 10, 1968, and its first payload test in 1969, successfully hauling over 68,000 pounds of goods. The V-12 made a significant impression at the 1971 Paris Air Show while the first prototype was showcased. The second prototype, delayed due to engine acquisition issues, 
was not completed until March 1973. Despite the V-12's promising capabilities, the project was ultimately cancelled after only two prototypes were built. The V-12 continued to impress throughout its developmental life. However, changing Soviet military needs and the high cost of development, procurement, and operation led to the program's cancellation after the completion of the two prototypes. For a time, the V-12 was also considered for industrial and civilian transport service, but these plans were never realized. The Soviet military eventually adopted the Mir Mi-26 series in 1983 to fulfill its revised heavy lift floor. A proposed super heavy lift variant, the V-16, intended to haul up to 110,000 pounds of goods using six solo VF engines, were never built. A revised version of the V-16, the Mi-12M, also did not materialize. Despite the perceived failure of the V-12 program, the massive aircraft managed to set multiple payload to altitude records during flights in 1969. Both completed prototypes were preserved. The first resides at the Mir Moscow helicopter plant, and the second is displayed at the Moninor Air Force Museum. The Mir V-12 remains a remarkable achievement in aviation history, embodying the Soviet Union's technological ambition during the Cold War. Although it never entered mass production, the V-12 set records and demonstrated the potential for heavy-lift helicopters. Its design innovations and sheer size continue to captivate aviation enthusiasts and historians alike.